Imagine looking up at the night sky and one of those stars blinks back, not with random light, but with something organized. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye on the universe, has seen something extraordinary. It detected strange clustered lights on the night side of Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet to our solar system. This is the story of a discovery that could rewrite everything we know about our place in the cosmos. The news rippled through the scientific community like a shockwave. For decades, we've listened for a reply from the stars. Now we may have found one. These aren't random flashes. JWS data shows concentrated patches of illumination in specific locations on the planet's dark side. If seen from space on Earth, we'd recognize it instantly, the glow of cities at night. Proxima Centauri b is our cosmic neighbor, orbiting the closest star to our sun. The odds of intelligent life being so close seemed impossibly small until now. The lights are concentrated in areas scientists believe could have stable climates, away from harsh radiation. The implications are staggering. Are we alone? The answer may now be leaning toward a breathtaking no. This moment is built on generations of astronomers, engineers and dreamers. But this step is different. It's a leap. We're no longer just searching for water or atmospheres. We may be seeing the direct signature of a technological civilization. The faint, distant glow from Proxima b could be the light of a billion souls living their lives under a different sun. Welcome to Cosmic Discoveries, where we explore the universe's greatest mysteries together. The journey to this moment has been long, but tonight everything changes. Let's dive in. To grasp the weight of this discovery, we need to know Proxima Centauri b. Discovered in 2016, it's a rocky exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, a small red dwarf in the Alpha Centauri system, our closest stellar neighbor. At just over four light years away, it's like seeing a light in your neighbor's window, cosmically speaking. Proxima b is slightly more massive than Earth and orbits its star every 11 days, placing it in the habitable zone where liquid water could exist. But life here would face huge challenges. Proxima Centauri is volatile, unleashing powerful flares that could strip away atmospheres and water. The planet is likely tidally locked, one side in perpetual day, the other in endless night. The day side scorches, the night side freezes. Life would have to adapt to extremes. Yet it's the permanent night side that makes the new discovery so tantalizing. The JWS detected lights on the dark side, where no sunlight ever reaches. What could be producing light in eternal darkness? The terminator zone between day and night might have moderate temperatures, perhaps a haven for life. And now, from these twilight lands and deep into the night, mysterious lights beckon us from across the void. How did we spot something as faint as city lights from over 25 trillion miles away? The answer? The James Webb Space Telescope. JWS's massive golden mirror collects infrared light, perfect for peering through cosmic dust and studying distant, cool objects. Astronomers stared at Proxima b for hundreds of hours, analyzing its faint heat signature as it orbited its star. They weren't looking for lights directly, but notice specific spots on the night side were warmer than expected. These spots emitted a faint, persistent light, unlike any known natural phenomenon. Scientists ruled out instrument error, reflections and natural sources like clouds or ice. The light was concentrated in small, distinct clusters with a spectrum resembling artificial sources, like city lights on Earth. After months of analysis, the most straightforward explanation was large-scale artificial illumination on Proxima b. The JWS may have found not just another rock, but a sign of intelligence, a faint technological heartbeat in the vast darkness of space. A new frontier in our quest for knowledge has opened. What are these lights? The most thrilling idea, alien cities. Imagine vast metropolises on Proxima B's night side, built by a species that's mastered its harsh world. Perhaps they live underground, surfacing only in perpetual twilight, their cities glowing in the darkness. The lights could be a network of interconnected cities forming a beacon of civilization in the cosmic night. But science demands skepticism. Could the lights be massive volcanic eruptions? Or auroras from a strong magnetic field? Natural events can create light, but they're usually unpredictable and variable. 
The lights on Proxima B are stable in the same locations, shining with steady intensity. This stability makes the city light hypothesis compelling. Natural phenomena are chaotic. Cities are organized. The evidence so far points toward organization. Still, we must explore every natural explanation before claiming alien life. The mystery deepens. Scientists worldwide are reacting with excitement and caution. Dr. Evelyn Hayes, lead astronomer on the JWST team, says, We're seeing persistent sources of light on the night side concentrated in specific areas. The signature is consistent with large-scale artificial lighting. Other experts urge patience. Dr. Kenji Tanaka reminds us, Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Some suggest new natural phenomena, massive bioluminescence or chemical reactions we don't yet understand. Geologists propose glowing minerals. Biologists imagine vast colonies of luminous organisms. Each theory brings new questions. Most agree. Whatever the explanation, this is a game changer. If natural, it's a phenomenon unknown to science. If artificial, it's a new era for humanity. As Dr. Hayes says, whether it's new geology, new biology, or a new civilization, we've found something that will keep us busy for decades. The journey of discovery is just beginning. Where do we stand in this cosmic debate? Let's weigh the evidence. The lights are clustered, stable, and their spectrum matches artificial sources, just like city lights. Their location on the night side and terminator zone fits where a civilization might live on a tidally locked planet. It's a simple, elegant explanation, the nighttime glow of alien technology, but we've never seen anything like this before. The universe is full of surprises. Maybe this is a natural process unique to Proxima b. Science must favor the known over the unknown, and we must rule out every natural cause. This is the tension at the heart of science wonder versus skepticism. The discovery is tantalizing, but not yet conclusive. The only way forward is to gather more evidence, point our telescopes back and keep listening. The mystery remains. This isn't the end. It's the start of a new chapter in our cosmic story. The James Webb and other observatories will keep watching Proxima b, searching for changes in the lights and clues in the atmosphere. We'll look for gases like oxygen, methane or even industrial pollutants, signs of life or technology. Every new piece of data brings us closer to the truth. The search for life is now central to astronomy, inspiring new generations and new technology. We're moving from detecting planets to truly understanding them, but this discovery touches all of us, connecting us to the universe in a profound way. It reminds us we may not be alone, that we're part of a much larger, possibly crowded cosmic neighborhood. The lights of Proxima b have illuminated a new path for humanity. They give us reason to dream, to question and to keep searching. The story is far from over. Keep looking up.